Hey guys, in this video I'll be giving you an update on the iPod Manager program. It's now version 2.1 and does more features. First, you can download the program in the link in the description. Click on the program. You see the installer box come up. That's one of the new features. Then you get this pop up when it's finished installing. First, I'll show you the new features of the 2.1 in the iPod Ninja. In the other version, now it has a. You can install iPod Linux applications. See from all emulators and all programs and stuff. Now in iPod Wizard, you can make a an Apple theme. Click three. Enter. I'm not gonna do it because it will take forever. Next in the bootloader, you see you can install a bootloader for iPod Linux. It's version 2.5. The Rockbox bootloader. You can see all the settings for the boot, for the loader. You can view your own loader your config and here this is my loader you can make a your, a new loader in your iPod you can uninstall the loader IPL 25 you can even edit your loader inside the box Same thing you format iPod, same disk, check this. I put a new version of the eject the iPod. I'll show you at the end of the video, makes a new pop up in the corner. It says safe to eject. You update the fragment, the iPod game. You can install the game track in here. You can download the game. When you type 2, it will open into next your browser and it shows you all the games you make the games folder for you instead of you making it and screwing up your own iPod okay the last and the best feature of this for now is the restore first of all the restore feature doesn't work on iPod with multiple partitions it only works on two partitions the firmware and the the music partition. If you, it'll give you an error if you don't have it. I'm sorry about that. The the store function doesn't work unless you have a a bin file in the installation. You can find it in my computer C program files C is computing IPL and firmware. You have to drag your firmware here or this function doesn't work. Okay, I'll show you the menu. Okay, you can store the you can store your iPod completely. It will reformat it and give you the original firmware. Again, the original firmware will be in the description. In the second, you can store your iPod with data loss without losing any data or music. This is good if you get the since we use we store your iPod with iTunes and that. It'll tell you the ins instructions. This will give you the instructions. Let's fix that. And you 
you could restore your iPad with their loss without it accumulating. So you store that, then you need to download the firmware pack in the description. This is my tutorial, I'll see you later. And first, I showed the to check your iPod. You'll pause for five seconds and then you get the pop up right here. Bye.